Alright guys, got another video for you. Today we are talking about our Arduino. I'm going to be showing you some parts, telling you what they do, and we're just going to be looking at them so you guys are a little bit more familiar with what all these things are. So I guess let's start off with, let's just start off with the Arduino. Alright, so we have an Elegoo Uno R3 and it's um, basically a, a lot of different manufacturers make the Arduino they it's um, something that multiple people can create so you can have different brands and this one is just made by Elegoo they're all about the same and I know you can't really see this super great because I can't seem to ever get my um, computer to focus on this or my uh, camera to focus so I'm gonna have to I'll probably invest in another camera. I really liked that one, but it's not working as well as I'd like it. I tried messing with the lighting, but it's not that great. Um, up here in the top corner here, there's a little button, if you can hear that. That's the reset button. I haven't successfully gotten that to work yet, but I have read that it works pretty well or, or that it resets the board if you run into some problems. I've seen some videos of people resetting it. I haven't had any use for it just yet. Um, on the front, we have the USB connection, that, and that is a uh, USB cable. Um, this particular port is a B port. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, there are This is a USB cable, and these have both the ports that you know, you're probably used to seeing this port. Um, this port's usually on the back of things like printers and stuff like that. It's also the port that is here. And this is a B connection. The B. This is the B side of it, and this is the A side of our USB cable. So this is what you would plug into the Arduino, like this. If I can get it, plug it into the Arduino, and then plug the other one into your computer. And that's how you can one give your Arduino some power, and two get information from it and send information to it. The next port over here, this is the barrel connector, and it can run off of 9 volts DC or all the way up to 12 volts DC. There's also some limits to the amperage that it can receive, but I think uh, the voltage is really the main thing you have to worry about. Um, here is the adapter that goes onto it. And this will convert a 9 volt battery into a barrel, the barrel, a barrel barrel connection which can be accepted by the Arduino and so like basically what you can do is put your code on there that runs your lights and then you don't want to always have it sitting three inches away from your computer plugged in sometimes you might want to move it or put it somewhere else so um, what you do is you connect a 9 volt battery to it plug it in and then your code will still run and function and you can take it somewhere else and show somebody else your cool work that you did all right, now I'm going to switch to my computer view, but I'm going to show you some of these pins on here. Like I said, we can't really see it very well on this, but there is, I'm talking about these pins here on the top and on the bottom. So let's take a look on my computer. So right here we have the Arduino Uno, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This I took a picture with my camera. It just seemed to be a little bit better. Okay, so let's start right here. This is the power section. Um, this is where it, this pin, each one of these square holes is a pin that can accept a cable. Let me show you what that cable looks like. I think I can do this right here. These cables right here. These cables are used to plug into those pin holes or other cables that you might make or whatever yourself. So anyway, Oops. Um, this, this, uh, these pins accept those cables, and if you plug a cable into this one, you will get 3.3 volts out. Oops, my mouse is on the wrong screen. 3.3 volts out on this one. The next one is the 5 volt pin. If you plug a cable into that, you can get 5 volts out. This is a ground right here. So like you know you have a positive and negative side of the battery. That's where you would plug the negative side of the battery in. Same thing with this one. And it has a couple of grounds because there's 
you know two different voltages um, either one so you could plug the pin into this one and then into this ground or that other one it's not specific you could even plug it into this one and then use the ground that's over here on this side of the board I don't really know what VIN does just yet so I can't tell you about it um, here are the analog in pins they're labeled a zero one two three four five I have used some of these and they're they're used to send analog signals like um, it's like I think it's zero through two hundred and fifty five so you can send like a zero or a one or a two or all the way up to two hundred and fifty five with these and I think you can even receive those in so these are your analog pins they can be used to manipulate variables and all kinds of stuff and turn on relays and send and receive information over here on the other side we have some more pins these are digital pins seven and this is zero through seven um, you can kinda see it but not really so great there's a little tilde out next to some of these the tilt the ones with the tilde have the ability to use pulse width modulation I not going to go into that right now but basically this the the yellow ones I had the analog ones go from 0 to uh, 255 the ones over here go from 0 to uh, 1023 so you can get more information through these um, the 1 and 0 pins have TX and RX those are supposed to be for sending and receiving I think it's for like network or more like um, long distance um, sending and receiving information but I could be wrong about that so um, he, up here in the green here is our pins Z, uh, 8 through 13 um, these are just more pins for data in and out um, you can receive information in or you can put information out and I think you can even swap during the process of using it uh, while you're running your code also we have that reset button that I already showed you guys all right, now the next thing I want to show you is this breadboard here. <clears throat> this breadboard, what it's used for, can't really see that great. We'll probably go back to the picture. But the breadboard is used to plug in those uh, jumper wires, or I also they're also called pin wires. So you could basically go, you could plug in something on the breadboard you can plug in on a spot on the breadboard and then you could plug it into your Arduino and then instead of having just one pin now you have a whole plethora of pins so if you wanted to connect a whole bunch of things to it so um, let me pull up that other picture again and I'll we'll look at the screen again so uh, here we go right here okay all right so we have our power here so generally what I end up doing is I plug in like a red wire or it really doesn't matter what color but I will plug a jumper wire in to the 5 volt and then run it into the negative or the positive rail right here and that will give all of these vertical wire or vertical pins on that are that see that red line it'll give all those pins 5 volts so if i have buttons or leds out here that need 5 volts to turn on they can just plug into this rail on any row here and then likewise i will plug in like the ground from a with a wire from here all the way into the negative rail and then my negatives will be right there so basically <clears throat> on the positive and negatives on the outside of this these pins connect vertically and then right here on the inside part a b c d and e are connected horizontally and they're also numbered so you can find them so the first one's one and then you have two three four five so a b c d and e are all connected together in from left to right and then there's a little chasm in there there is no connection between 
A through E and F through J. The only way to make those connections is to hop over with a wire. So likewise, F, G, H, I, and J, those are all connected together. So if you wanted to add some, uh, connect one side to the other, you're gonna have to use a wire, but these are connected together and these set, this set is connected together. Not horizontally only, or no, sorry, not vertically, only horizontally on our letters. Then we have the far right side and it's just like the left side, the positive is connected vertically and the negatives are connected vertically. So this just allows you to connect a whole bunch of things to your Arduino. Um, I was also gonna show you about the resistors. Apparently I didn't bring a pack with me. Here's a picture of them. Um, at the bottom of your pack, you have, like, it, they're, like, taped together, and you can pull them out here. Let me see if I got one over here. <coughs> yes, here we go. Okay, so the resistor part's in the center, and then at the bottom it's labeled I can't you won't be able to see it when I switch over to camera but um, that'll tell you what the ohms is and the ohms is used to calculate so, um, to figure out how much voltage you're putting in so it can dumb down the amperage so you won't blow out or break really break sensitive things like your LEDs um, here's what one this looks like on the camera right here this package of them and if you want to pull one out all you have to do is just unfold it and then you can just pull it left and then right you just pull it out and now I have a resistor that I can use and generally what you do is you take it and you I, I'll just I'm just like bending it to make a horseshoe shape and then you can use that horseshoe shape to push it into the two holes so like I hope you can see what I'm doing you probably can't so I'm just like bending it to stick it into the hole here these two holes and it kind of just pushes straight in and you get a connection from that one side of the chasm to the other you can kind of tell and I have that plugged into E and F. So I, I plugged it in from like here to here. So that would bridge A, B, C, D, E to F, G, H, I, J. All right, so that's how the resistors work. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll get into that more later on. Um, so we got resistors, then we also have an assortment of cables for you guys to look at. Um, let's look at this. So we have a big roll of LEDs in your pack there of things. There are 140, I think there's 144 LEDs on this whole strand. The LEDs are the little white square right there. And you can use your Arduino to tell it to turn on all red or no red and maybe blue or um, green. And you mix those colors to make the other colors like pink and all that other stuff, kind of like we do in Godot. So the, this is what we're going to use to put our light show on. Um, right here is the connection that will go to uh, go to your Arduino. Well, that connection is not exactly going to just plug in to your Arduino. So I made you guys and I adapted a cable for us. So what I did is I took those jumper wires and I soldered it onto the end. So now you can take this wire here, plug it into your LED kit, and now you have your LED adapter here the green is for data and that would go into let me see if I pull this back up can I do both the green would go into your your data lines so any of 
my picture's on the wrong side. Let me just get it out of the way. The green would go to into any one of these pins here, either 0 through 13, or even the analog pins, I, I believe. I've always plugged it into one of these over here. Um, if you plugged it into something like 12, which does not have the tilde, you'd only be able to turn it on and off. But if you plugged it into like 11, I think, anyway, I could be totally wrong, 11 or tw uh, 10 or 9, you can, <clears throat> you can do, you can send more information. I might be wrong about that, but whatever. Okay, so the green pin goes into the, the data lines, and then the red pin goes to the 5 volts because it's our power cable, and then the white one goes into the ground. So again, white one to ground, green one to the, your data line, and then red is your five volts. So that's how that part's gonna work when we when we eventually get to it. You should have quite a few of these um, wires. They do. It does not matter which color you use. The color's just for you to keep it organized. Um, Let's see what else. Oh, we have an LED, just like little tiny lights. So we're going to start off by turning on these little lights. Um, we have on the LED, you probably can't see it. I'm going to bring up a picture. There's no way you're going to see it. But there's two legs there. One of the legs is longer than the other. And that... is the uh, po the longer leg is the positive, which is the anode. The negative is the cathode, and it's the shorter wire. And pretty much all that means to you is the electricity needs to flow in one direction, or it only flows in one direction. So you want to put the positive side on the anode and the negative side on the cathode. Um, one thing about these LEDs, <clears throat> if you just plugged it straight into a 9-volt battery, it's going to pop it almost immediately. Or you plug it into the Arduino. I've gotten away with not putting a resistor in the middle of it, but you certainly can break those. And it's not going to blow up and hurt you or anything, but it's, you know, we're wasting stuff and it makes a weird smell that's not so cool. All right, then we also have, I don't have a, I might have a picture of this. We also have these little push buttons, which we're going to use to make our buttons, like uh, for turning on our lights, or maybe we push it, we can send some information like start song or stop song or whatever. So we can make these buttons work. And they have four little legs on the end if you can see it like a like four legs and you can just basically line up the legs and put them into the breadboard like that and then you can click and you'll run your wires to it and then when you click the button it can turn on lights or start your program start your code I think I have covered everything that I put on that assignment. Sorry that took so long, but I wanted to show you guys about the stuff that you got. You guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.